a very good assistant. The tone is comedy backslash horror. So with that, it was about, okay, how can you be creepy and funny at the same time, even within the same line, the same bit of dialogue. It's Nick Cage as you've never seen him before, taking the role of the world's most famous bloodsucker, but this time putting his own twist to the iconic character. That was the, the hope, was that I could bring my own flavor, my own secret sauce, if you will, and give it some spark. Some call me the Dark One. The Lord of Death. <laughs> in the monster tale, Dracula's loyal servant, Redfield, is forced to be at the beck and call of the history's most narcissistic boss. So you bring in people to eat? Well, I do other stuff. Like what? Wash his cape? No. The cape is dry clean only, strictly. But now, after centuries of servitude, Renfield is ready for a career change. I will no longer tolerate abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I think what this, this movie accomplishes is this you know, marvelous uh, alternating between comedy and horror and even action adventure. The story's modern take gives fans something they can relate to, especially when talking about boss employee dynamics. That I think is what makes this movie separate from the other movies because it's relevant. I mean, everybody has had, you know, difficult experiences <laughs> at the office. I mean, yeah. all of us have. It, speaks well to the whole project that it's talking about something that people can go oh, i know what that's like even though we're dealing with these you know outrageous supernatural characters renfield's character is played by nicholas holt so what is it like working with the british actor he's not afraid to make facial expressions and the timing is kind of quirky like that but then in his eyes there's vulnerability god bless you mr renfield oh god bless you nuns yes. so he could switch on a dime from being a very quick, comedic, and, 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 and almost kind of goofy in the body language to being heartbroken right on camera. We asked Nicolas Cage what Renfield would look like if it were set right here in the Magic City. Hey, Ma Miami <laughs> is a city that isn't afraid to celebrate color. It would be a great location for a sequel. <laughs> Renfield and Dracula in Miami is... Uh, yeah, I, I, I could see uh, Dracula wearing something like this, or, you know, I mean, it would be fun. Renfield is now out in theaters. Renfield, your sole purpose in life is to serve me. Now, let's eat. <laughs>